Hey, good morning. I'm Jeremy. Why don't you come along and join me on my journey today? Oh, we got them all wired in. I just put a battery on the back. Let's see. And that's why I wanted these lights because it's just got a little button in the middle it's just a touch button it's not a mechanical button you press it once let me get rid of this light this is the actual light so you press it once or tap it once and it does that you push and hold and it dims down it dims down pretty far and then you can turn it off and it has a memory. So when you turn back on, it's still dimmed. Now you can also hold again and it'll brighten it right back up. So this way, I did order a switch and I'll wire that in too just to show you. But I like these because I can turn them on and off individually. I did order a switch so that uh, I can turn them off all at once if I want to. Um, so if they're like this, hit the button and uh, off they go but uh, I'll see how I'm gonna install the switch but I'll see how I actually want to use it um, if I'll keep it or I don't know we'll see because this is pretty convenient just doing this so that's my lights so it turned off all the lights in the shop so I can see what it my interior lighting is in the van I've wired up the on and off button for all of them. And there we go. I also mounted them all to the ceiling with one screw. I taped all the ends of the wire with the marette together. And just so I could get a feel for what it's actually going to look like in here. This is just my temporary setup. But this is the little button that I have. There's a bunch of different configurations. I just have it set so that um, you can do a, a full press in as you can see it's indented a little bit and it's gonna go dark in a sec here but that'll make it go flush but you can also there's also a mode where it's just a tap to push but that's like a start button um, where it doesn't actually indent uh, also if you want and do a hot splice, but don't recommend doing this. Yep, there you go. So this one, at, you can order it with a bunch of different colors, but this one has a um, red LED in it. And I think, yeah. Oop. So this one, the way you wire it like that, the light stays on when the lights are on. You can also wire it so that the LED light is on when the life lights are off and it turns off when uh, you push the button to turn the lights on kind of like your TV, the little red, uh, red LED on your TV when your TV is off the red light is on so and when your TV is on the little red light turns off so you can set it, this up the same way um, or you can also wire it so it stays on all the time, but I don't want it on any time. Um, just an annoying red light. That's one reason I ordered this switch was because it had the options for that. Um, most of the switches only will either they stay on. What are the LED on most of the switches will be on when the lights are on and I just don't like that. Some of them even stay on all the time and that would be really irritating. Um, I don't like any light. Uh, just distracting, I guess. Anyway, that's the little switch. I'll put a link for it. It takes a very small, uh, like I gotta make sure I get the hole just exact and then it's got a lock ring on the back. Um, it's got a typical automotive type uh, connector. This actually pulls off of this connector. So you can drill the hole, put this into the cabinet, and then uh, clip this into the back. 
I'm still deciding on if I'm going to use that switch or if uh, I'm going to mount this where, where I would mount it. Like I could mount it. I'm going to have drawers here, so that's going to be kind of in the way. But if I put it up right along this edge, I could tuck the wires in along the inside of the cabinet and run them to the back. So right now the switch is in its on position. And the nice thing is, is I can still turn off all my lights individually. And like I was saying before, yeah, the lights also have memory. So these two are off, those two are on. Let's turn the switch off, and then same thing. There's still that. And if you had this one on, and then let's lower the light as far down as it can go. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the glow between those, but we'll turn it off, turn it back on, and it's still got the same dimness. And then I'm just gonna brighten it all the way back up. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but turn this one back on. I think these guys are all the way up. Yeah. So I'm just going to step out and you can see. So my shop's dark and I'm tripping over stuff. So shop's completely dark, but this is the uh, glow of the four lights and I'm really happy with that. It looks nice. Um, just, I like it. With the wood and everything, it's looking pretty nice.